Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your own photos into paint by number paintings. It all starts by going to pbnfi.com and uploading your choice of your own personal photos. Once you have the photo uploaded, then you will want to select different parts of the photo that contain different colors. So you'll see I selected several parts of the variant of the sunset in my photo to make sure that each of those becomes a different section in my final paint by number painting. Once you have all your colors selected, you have to hit PBNify and this will take a while. So expect it to take several minutes. Once it's all finished processing, if you like the way it looks, you're going to want to save the filled version of the paint by number, the outline version of the paint by number, and the palette for your paint by number to your hard drive. And all three of these are important to make sure that your final paint by number painting turns out looking just how you want it to. Once you have all of these images saved to your hard drive, go ahead and print them out on your home color printer. The palette and the filled version you can print on normal printer paper, but I highly recommend that you print the actual outline onto harder, thicker cardstock. You can paint on regular printer paper, but it's going to be really flimsy and you're going to have to worry about not putting holes in the paper. So I really suggest using cardstock if you have it on hand. Now it's time to actually get painting. You're going to want to make frequent reference to your printed out palette of colors because each of those colors has been assigned a number, just like a traditional paint by number palette. But you will be responsible for mixing up the paint colors to make sure it matches this palette. For the first color in my painting, I could just use an acrylic paint from my stash that matched pretty well with the palette but you are going to have to do some custom mixing. And what I recommend doing is to mix up the paint and then paint a little bit onto the palette itself to make sure that you are getting a color that's close, if not exactly the same as the color indicated from your palette. I also strongly recommend that you only work on one color at a time. Instead of mixing up all of your colors first and then attacking your painting, just mix up one color. Because if you do a custom paint mix and then your paint dries out or you have to take a three day break in the middle of your painting, it's really hard to get the exact mix again. So what I suggest is do one color at a time and then if you do have to stop in between, um, like when you're in the middle of one of your colors, put a damp towel or a, or a wet wipe on top of your palette or your plate, wherever you're mixing your paints, and then wrap it in a plastic bag. And that will keep your paint wet still overnight. I wouldn't try to push it past two, two days or longer, but it will definitely keep your paint wet overnight. Now you can spend some nice time listening to music or keeping half an eye on Netflix while you fill in all the paint by number sections on your picture. So here is my printed version and my finished painting. This was the photo that I was working with and then I can I turned it into a fun impressionist looking paint by number painting which looks even better when you mat it up and frame it. I hope this is a project that will help you spend some time being creative while you might be stuck at home a little more than usual. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog maddencrafts.com and thanks so much for watching. Bye!